thank you for joining us. We're seeing them pop up more and more around the islands. Now construction of a new roundabout on the windward side will soon be underway. But many residents there, mixed feelings about the project. While many I spoke to say they agree something needs to be done, almost everyone worries it will make traffic even worse. Construction of a roundabout is set to begin at the busy intersection of Kahekili and Kamehameha Highway in Kahalu, Wednesday, June 7th. According to the Hawaii Department of Transportation, more than 20,000 cars pass through the area every day. Residents tell me speeding is an issue and making the left turn from Kamehameha Highway to Kahekili can be scary. A lot of accident. I see it myself a lot. The goal of the $5.4 million project is to reduce crashes and make the area safer for everyone, while some are in favor of it. And I really think that's the best, best decision that you guys make. Many are not. So this roundabout makes no sense whatsoever. None. We're already congested in the morning as it is. Now they're going to make it worse. Mostly everyone I spoke to, like Cornet, say it will just cause more traffic. Others tell me it's going to confuse drivers and feel the money could be better spent elsewhere. But the roundabout, nah, I don't really need that. That's gonna, yeah, waste, waste money. Go fix the road, we get plenty of potholes to fix. Still, residents agree something needs to be done. No, I know it's a dangerous area. Something needs to be done. And if we cannot get traffic lights, which is the solution, I guess a roundabout's gonna we have to have to be where we go. In addition to the roundabout, DOT also plans to make other improvements to the area, including better street lighting and new bus shelters. It's great, yeah. All of that stuff is perfect. You know, that's probably what this all needs. But a roundabout doesn't make sense. Once construction begins in June, the road will be contraflowed Mondays through Fridays, 8:30 a.m. till 3:30 in the afternoon. Drivers should expect delays. According to the DOT, the project should be completed sometime around January 2025, weather permitting.